I don't know if he's your Lord this morning. I don't know if he's your Savior this morning. But he's my Savior this morning. Amen. I don't know who God is to you. But he's everything to me. Amen. We just want to thank God for everyone that's in the house on this morning. We want to thank God for the service thus far. Amen. We thank God. Brother Desmond, amen. You can't take me into the presence of the Lord unless you live there. You can't lead me into worship unless you used to go there yourself. And for those of you that sit back and let everybody else get their praise on, you missing something. Amen. God didn't call us to stay on the sidelines for all of our Christian life. Pretty soon you got to get off the sidelines and get into the game, somebody. Amen. You need to know that he's a multifaceted God. Amen. I don't just know him as a way maker. Amen. I don't just know him for a healer or a deliverer. I know him as being a personal savior. Personal. He's my personal God. And we all got to make a decision sometime or another whether or not he's going to be our Lord. Because the scripture said either he's going to be Lord of all or not Lord at all. Amen. I don't expect you to praise God if you don't know him. I don't expect you to honor him, worship him, or obey him if you don't know him. Because he has to become your father. Come on, somebody. When he really becomes your father, your whole desire is to please your father. You can't follow his commandments, the Bible said, except you love him. He said, if you love me. Come on, the backside of that, if you don't love God, you ain't going to even try to do what he said. You just going to be like, mm. you ain't, you, you ain't, you ain't going to be doing all that stuff you're doing if you love him. Because you're going to be like, it ain't worth it. I'm not going to be grabbing something that don't belong to me because it ain't worth it. I, I want to keep my relationship with God. I ain't going to be lying. I ain't going to be cheating. I'm going to be trying to build up instead of tear down. You, can't, you ain't going to have no mind to do that except you love him. Amen. After a while, the, <laughs> the proof is going to be in your position when you stand before him. You can try to fool me if you want to, but I know what it looks like. Just thank God for the people that he's sending. Amen. The people that is hungry and thirsting at the righteousness. Amen. I ain't ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation. And God said by the foolishness of preaching, I'm going to save them to hear the preacher. Yesteryear, and he, I still ain't got a spin out of him. I still ain't got a rock out of him. One of these days, he might surprise me. I don't know. Make sure the paramedics is on the scene. <laughs> Amen. We had a wonderful time. Amen. It's just, it's just refreshing when you perceive in a man, when you perceive in a woman, that they have the love of God in their heart. You know, as a pastor, I deal with all kind of people. I deal with people that try to make me believe they love the Lord. But the scripture lets me know they don't. I ain't going to bust you out and put you on front street. I'm going to just mark you. Yeah, that's what God said do. But God is doing something in here. He said that people that have a love for God, you have to have a love for God. And you refuse to take down. I, I refuse not to let the people that I hang around know I ain't no undercover saint. No, no, no. I love the Lord. And I don't care to what opposition you are in against my whatever they call religion or whatever you 
you want to call it. That's just too bad, too sad. I love the Lord. And you don't know what he's done for me. You don't understand all the things that he's taken me through. Amen. So we want to thank God we're going to get into the word. Amen. And we want to keep Sister Esther in prayer because her mother had a fall and her son got stitches and I know he needs some tissues. <laughs> Amen. So let us keep that family in prayer. And all of we, we got to learn you. You can't hate on nobody when you really pray for them. You can't be envious of me when you pray for me. You can't pray if you're envious. You can't pray for me if you're mad at me. <laughs> you can't do both. Come on. So we got to we got to we got to get this thing together, boy. It's, it's about God's heart. It's about God mind. The scripture says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That kicks out how I feel. It's in regards to what you do to me. Amen. Boy, I'm just excited, y'all. I, I, I don't want to miss my day of visitation. Come on, somebody. Amen. And now we have this preacher. Amen. He hails from Ricky's camp. <laughs> now he's going to come in his own way. Amen. Amen. I, I perceive that this is a man of God. Because you, the, the Bible said you, you know a man by the fruit that he bears. You can hear fruit as well as see it. Come on. Amen. When your doctrine or your relationship with God is correct, it come out of your mouth. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. When you have a vibrant relationship with God, it comes out of your mouth. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You can try to make me believe, but I'm listening to the sound because most of the time our speech betrays us. Amen. Sometimes I can't hear what you're saying because I'm watching what you're doing. So Pastor Harry, he's going to come in his own way as the Lord lead him. Amen. Let's say the amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. You can make the man of God preach if you're hungry. Is anybody hungry? I said, anybody hungry? What?
who have honestly sought your face in the midnight hour and made a choice decision in their heart that they need you, that they cannot live without you, that they cannot take their next step without you, that they cannot face the next day without you. And God, we ask you now to reach and grab them right where they are in the midst of their hearts and let them know that you're the God that cannot fail. You're the God that cannot be denied. The whole earth is yours. The heavens you stretched out with your own mighty hand. You even formed and created the devil. God, we thank you now and we render this service into your hands. And we bind every spirit that's not like you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we didn't come to play church. We came to be given into the hand of the living God. Clap your wings for Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Today. I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt there is healing in this house today. And God is stretching out his hand, his mighty hand, that nobody can turn back to touch, to heal, and to deliver in this house. I don't have time for all of them now because I thank God for this pastor, thank God for this pastor. We thank God for this ministry. Amen. But when it comes to the to the ministering of the Spirit of God, I have to walk in the Spirit that God given to me. And I know that He's a God that heals. I know He's a God that delivers. I know He's a God that cannot fail. I know He's a God that's sitting high, but ain't looking low. I know He's a God that can be touched with the feelings of your infirmity. I know He's a God that can hear your heart cry.
He want to give it to you, but you deny it. But if you just humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will strengthen you. He's not a respect of man. He's not a respect of a person. What he did for somebody else, he can do for you. But you got to quit hiding from him. You got to quit hiding from him. You got to quit setting in the shadows. You got to come out of yourself. You got to get sick and tired of being sick. See, we have God, 
but we take our own lives in our hands. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing it God's way, yeah.